In the light dependent reactions of photosynthesis, pigments such as chlorophyll that absorb photons of light are found on the thylakoid membrane. These pigments are arranged in regions on the membrane called photosystems. There are two different photosystems and each absorbs light at a different wavelength. There's photosystem 1 and 2. Photosystem 2 absorbs light at 680 nanometers, so it's often referred to as P680, while photosystem 1 absorbs light at 700 nanometers, so it's often referred to as P700. The light-dependent reactions of photosynthesis take place on the intermembrane space of the thylakoid. Here we can see that circled in pink, and if we zoom in, we can start to look at some of the details of the light-dependent reactions. The intermembrane space is the space within the thylakoid membrane. It can also be referred to as the lumen of the thylakoid. This is where we can find photosystems 1 and 2. In the light-dependent reactions of photosynthesis, photons of light are first absorbed by chlorophyll in photosystem 2. This absorption of light excites electrons from the chlorophyll to reach a higher energy state. These electrons are captured by an electron acceptor. The light is also used to split water, a reactant in photosynthesis, into oxygen, hydrogen ions and electrons. This process is called photolysis. The electrons from photolysis are supplied to the chlorophyll to replace those that were lost. The excited electrons that were captured by the electron acceptor then pass from this primary acceptor down an electron transport chain, losing energy as they do so. The energy loss drives chemiosmosis, where hydrogen ions are actively pumped from the stroma into the thylakoid space. This pump is actually a cytochrome complex called B6F complex, but in IB you're not required to know the name of it. As the hydrogen ions are now at a high concentration in the thylakoid space, they then passively diffuse back into the stroma via ATP synthase. This enzyme is a protein found within the thylakoid membrane. This results in the phosphorylation of ADP to form ATP. As the energy to drive chemiosmosis ultimately comes from light, we can refer to this as photophosphorylation. Photons of light are also absorbed by chlorophyll in photosystem 1. Again, this excites the electrons from the chlorophyll to a higher energy state and again they're captured by an electron acceptor. The de-energized electrons from photosystem 2 replace the electrons lost from photosystem 1. The excited electrons that were captured by the electron acceptor then pass down a second electron transport chain, again losing energy as they do so. In this process, the enzyme NADP reductase catalyzes the transfer of the electrons to the final electron carrier NADP+. Each NADP plus requires two electrons to be reduced to NADPH. Since hydrogen ions are required for this, although what we see here is a model, the reduction of NADP plus to NADPH actually occurs on the stroma side of the thylakoid membrane. 